Shut the cannons, shut the cannons, boom, 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 we are the sharks. There are hey, so I sharks right there. there. We See, almost had it. Change the words. We are bubblegum sharks. We are bubblegum watermelon sharks. Oh, uh, bubblegum, yeah. bubblegum yeah. watermelon sharks. So, I am obsessed with my paint right now. Yours is pretty good. Yours is pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad, like even though I've got the cool animated paint. Mm -hmm. Yours is pretty I've got solid. A face. You have a shark face. Yeah, yeah that yeah. worked out so Somehow well. Somehow I came up with this concept and then you both outdid me at it. <laughs> as you do. As, as is custom here. I can bet yours is super sweet. Yeah, I don't know about that anyway. Let's see. Almost um, iridescent looking. So we're not we're not starting up a new season here right at the end of the year. We're just going to do some exhibition matches. Some exhibition. Have a little fun. I think we're probably going to still play. Oh, I guess we do you want to do a 3v4s? Oh. oh, we should. Oh, what, we can, can we do, not? We can oh, do three, okay, three four. four. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Team Watermelon Shark is heading out. Do, 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 Team do, 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 Watermelon do, Shark. Do, do, I like do, it. Do, 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 yeah. Team Watermelon Shark. Do, do, uh, real towers. quick, are we still doing boom rolls? No, no, no more news, boom rolls. Great oh news. gosh. Great. We're, yeah, we're already at three v four. After the end of that last season, I'm just making sure. I hate boom rolls. Yep, that's fair. Not the best. That is. I totally shouldn't have gone for it and totally did. I'm, uh, I'm off my I game, y'all. I was super confused and thought that uh, I was... I'm a little... Oh, I gotta get used to like, the, the new shape of the car. Oh, yeah, yeah. no! Uh, okay. Same, my car's ruled. Oh. I assume that they steer happened? and handle and everything differently, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Well, they, they, like, they should handle about the same. They should like like slightly different hitboxes is mostly it. It's, mm. I feel like it's a visual thing. Dude, I've got like a constant supply of green ooze coming out of the back of my car. <laughs> oh man. Green ooze? Ooze. The Gross. ooze, like what made the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, what mm. made them, oh yeah. Definitely. Woo! Should we have a question, y'all? Question! Yeah. All right, this is from here. Panda. Oh, I just whipped. Uh, Panda says, my roommate takes over the common areas in the apartment with his friends for five plus hours every day. During that time, I can't cook or even really study because they're so loud. When he does leave the kitchen and living room, it's all a huge mess. How do I approach this? Telling him that his friends can't spend all of their time at our apartment without oh. really making him a roommate enemy. Huh? Oh, jeez, oh, that's oh, a roommate. Roommate enemy. Are you roommate. not friends with your roommate? Can you not just go join the party? The party? Well, it sounds like maybe he's got things that need to be being done and had and stuff, and, and he can't mm. be doing it because of the, because mm. of the distraction. Oh, the thing. Sorry, no, it's all right. It's all right. Well, it's a tricky situation because you want to say like common areas like pretty just available to whoever. Well, that is the well, very so definition of a common area. Cook, and that right. that sounds weird. You can probably still cook. Yeah, I would think you can still cook. I don't know why I, you would be able to. Uh, but as far as studying goes, unless like they're like frequently firing up some pizza rolls in the oven. Yeah, yeah that's possible. Okay. Sure, sure. Well, I mean, I mean it doesn't that's, sound that's, unlike that sounds like that's college. That sounds yeah. like college. I mean, I would say our oven was used mostly for pizza, but it's a pizza oh, rolls. Man, I just the uh, the fact that I think there's this element of I can't even cook makes me feel like what's happened is this problem has um, built up in his head to such a place that he is almost making it out to be even worse than it actually is. Mm. That's yeah. plausible. Um, That's very plausible. And not, not, to, not to say that it isn't an actual Woo! problem. Nice. Woo-hoo! <clears throat> Redirect the um, over old team water. You were you're really excited with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just feeling good today. There's, it's low stakes. We're right. playing oh, unfair. Yeah. We, we got the underdog <laughs> advantage on our side. Mm. Ben is most comfortable with the underdog advantage. Yes, <laughs> yes. I do not like being the overdog, as many of you know from Jay vs. Ben. Yes. Even though you won that round. It's true. That is true. Sure, that worked out well. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, in case you haven't seen it. Um, but yeah, back oh! to the oh! 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 Nice shot. Rush it in. Here we go. It's the magic of the watermelon. Boom. The magic of the watermelon. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. Nothing says Christmas like some watermelon. Am I, right? Yes. Am I right? Yeah. Move over, 4th of July. So, ben, I definitely have been in a situation like this with a roommate where I built it up more in my head. Can you expand a little bit about what you mean by oh. that? Because I feel like I get it because I've been there. Yeah, well, I feel like roommates, um, are, are always such a dicey thing. Like it, it, there are probably more friendships ruined by roommate dumb yep. than I would imagine any other particular problem. Mm. Um, 
because right. it's like people always think like oh it's such a great idea like we're already friends we'll be able to get along it'll be great until you realize that they don't put the tooth back tooth paste cap back right. on right well the tricky thing is just that because you're friends you don't want to fight but right. roommating inevitably like when you cohabitate Must you have a uh, different lifestyles right in private and sometimes they don't always work so well together mm -hmm. um, Right. So, I mean, like, probably the big thing here is because it's common area, like, that obviously does, by the very definition of it, mean common area. Like, that's that's the area that they're both entitled to. Um, if he feels as though that is being, like, um, overused or maybe, like, he, he's not getting his fair shake of the space, uh, I think that that's certainly a conversation that can be had. Uh, but if it's like you don't want to go join in on the hanging out, um, yeah, I suppose it depends, yeah, a little on the nature of what they're doing. Like, is this sort of like, oh my gosh, they're having crazy drinking beer pong parties every night, and it's, you know, that, that, that's that one thing. Yeah. If it's just like, oh, they're hanging out playing video games, then, mm, then you might need to go to the library. Yeah, you might, you might need to find your own solution to this problem, I think is what it comes down to. Because, I mean, roommates are just going to, yeah, I think they're just going to be like that, and... Uh, this is what I would argue is one of the main reasons to prioritize having your own place eventually. Yep. Mm. Um, no doubt. I was, well, oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, well, this something I always found is that regardless of whether or not my roommates were being loud or quiet or completely respectful or not, I, I always found that I was more effective at studying and uh, everything whilst I was like, at a specific location dedicated to that, like the library or some location on campus where that was, uh... Oh, how'd I miss that? That was... Dumbo. Um, so I might just suggest you do that regardless of whether or not you had a great roommate. Right, right, right. Okay, so in, here's a, here's a, an anecdote I can give about my own personal experience. One of my, my still to this day best friends, friendship not ruined by this particular roommate dumb, um... <clears throat> was my senior roommate in college. Um, and somewhere along the way, I actually owned the aquarium business back then and had like an unusual amount of cash flow for a college student. So on Black Friday, I went out and bought like this brand new 55 inch oh, LED TV, you know, like went all out. And I, was, I felt like just the bell of the ball, so to speak. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that same weekend, he came with me to the Best Buy to purchase it, and he bought the new Zelda game that had come out that same weekend. Nice. Guess who used the TV for the next two weeks straight? <laughs> right, yeah. Um, weird. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, super weird. You know, and it was one of these things where I was like, I was so excited to buy my new TV, and every time I come home from class, he's sitting there on it. Right. Mm -hmm. But what I had done with that new TV was taken the old TV that might have been his and replaced it with the new cool one. And uh, so, like, there I was kind of feeling like he was using my thing and I wasn't getting a chance to use it. Yeah. But my decision to buy the TV didn't mean I got extra ownership over the living room. Right, 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 right. That, that can be a weird thing. I remember that. that's just sort of a feeling, uh, even in my own college roommate days, one of my roommates had you know their dad's old giant and I, when i say giant tv i mean like the the like big box. You, the, the i mean box. you think of like a big screen this had a big screen but yeah it was a big box yeah, right yeah, you know yeah, it right. was like almost as tall as me yeah, right yeah, you yeah, know right. and you're like okay and it's a very impressive thing and it's so big but the <laughs> rules of the tv are pretty much First come, first serve, I think. Right, when it comes yeah. To, right, you know. yeah. You, you don't get extra rights just because you're in possession of the thing yeah. in the shared space. Which is a little weird, because it's like, you discover, uh, this would happen to me, I would discover that like, five days a week, I was just the person who would be the first person home. Oh, it's like, oh, sure, sure. It's like oh. Yeah. Like, ah, <laughs> hope really you guys like Seinfeld. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys like watching me play Mario Kart. Because <laughs> 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 I know you don't like playing against Little did they know you were just practicing for your future <laughs> career. That's yeah. right. Like, guys, this is school. Jeez. Oh, man. Before we get started with the next game, I think we need a pause for today's sponsor Ooh, of the day. Oh, man. Today's sponsor comes from SCB Fan, who hey. says, Hey, SCB gang, figured I'd pop in here at least once to say thank you for all you do. Not only are your videos super entertaining, but you all are amazing human beings. Oh, 
You are supportive, you interact with your fans, and you have created an incredible community that I'm so glad I get to be a part of. Also, I still can't believe you guys have basically become friends I never thought I'd have. Oh man. Aww. This is this is uh, Anna who asked you to prom in our homecoming, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. This was this was uh, <laughs> we were at a a meet not a meetup somewhere. What was it? I think it was playlist Nerd live Criteria. or Nerd Under Criteria. That's the yes. one. Yes, and she came up and she had a prom proposal for me. Yeah. It was adorable and amazing. It was great. Ben said yes. Obviously, obviously. Yeah, yep. yep. no. Yeah, Man. see, I mean, it's like it almost seems like she should be changing her screen name to SCB Friend. SCB uh, friend. Prom friend. Date. Prom yeah. Date. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, well, thank you, Anna. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you guys aren't already following her on Instagram, I think it is just at SCB, SCB Fan. Friend. Yeah. And she's one of those um, channels that does all of the screen caps from videos yeah. and captions them and just finds the funny bits. So she she mimifies really us it. very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She, she has does. infiltrated our actual filming sessions because every time we do something we think is funny, we're like, that's going to be the one. Yeah, that's, that's, she's going to be funny. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, thank you for your patronage, Anna. And uh, see you next month. Heck yeah. Here um, go. Game yeah. on. Game on. Ba on Jumping back to the subject of roommates, um, if you really, really want to like study at your apartment, or if it's the reverse where with the TV, you have a show that you like to watch on Thursdays, but your roommate gets home before you do, it's okay to like talk to your roommate and be like, hey, I have a show. I, I like to watch The Good Place when it airs on Thursdays. Can we make sure that I'll be able to use the TV then? Or yeah. if I've got exams every other day so in my frequently. physics class, can I have <laughs> Thursday nights just be a quiet night in the apartment and y'all hang out somewhere else? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so very frequently interpersonal problems just need to be fixed by communicating with each other. Right. Right. Um, and and if you feel like you can't cook because of their presence, I have a feeling you might need to um, Calm down nice block, before nice talking block. to him. Yeah, yeah. Also, it just, just, yeah, just, you know, don't, don't talk to them. Well, there's so many of orange. <laughs> Gosh, I can't get to the ball. Uh, well, I don't know where to stand. Um, talk. Yep. Yeah, talk. communication. Oh, no. oh, oh, gosh. oh man, I almost got back in time. Man, when all four of them are friggin' playing chase ball, you I, can't get. Look at that. Like, I know. Hit the ball. Do you just have any nightmare roommate situations? Oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I've had one before. That you can share in a way nope. that wouldn't be okay. <laughs> obvious to the people. I had pretty great roommates for the most part. Yeah, I, I had... almost got litigious about it. <laughs> oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. Don't Ooh. get litigious. Yeah, I, don't. I almost had to do that with my last roommates because oh, the that. one roommate literally at one point owed me almost two grand and was like refusing to pay. So the only thing, Jordan, that I would issue there to, to completely dive into your personal life now that we're talking about it, <laughs> yeah, no, um, is that I, the one thing I've noticed about you since you've been here is that you are always so willing to agree to like be as helpful as humanly possible. And when I've heard the story about your old roommate before, so much of me was like, I feel like I can imagine what happened was Jordan was being very helpful and somebody took advantage Whoa. of yep. her. Yeah. Um, and that's something that like, Again, going back to the idea of, of rooming with your friends, it's so hard not oh. to be like, yeah, you can you can pay me back for utilities, like, you know, just whenever you get it or something. It's like, that's the worst sentence to say. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You know, because you're, you're trying to be helpful, but ultimately your gesture is going to just completely right. shove a wedge. Yep, and if yeah. somebody oh, owes you money, they will not remind you that they owe you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you put the burden on yourself to be a burden on them. To, to be which, debt collector. Yeah, and you don't want to do that. You know who so. people don't like? Debt, debt collectors. collectors. Put them, yeah. Um, I did actually have an even more negative experience no, than this no. one roommate that I lost a bit of money from. Which, like, at the end of the day, it lost me a couple of hundred bucks. I'm unhappy about that, but I have learned from that. The, the one experience that I did not learn much from, other than just don't room with terrible people. Um, I lived with this girl who literally, it was so bad living with her that my other roommate and I, when she finally moved out, had literal PTSD symptoms when we heard like a car pulling up 
and we were sitting in the living room. We would go tense and be really nervous and then realize, oh wait, she moved out. We don't have to worry about this. Oh jeez, yeah. Um, all right, so I have to ask though, what led to you being roommates with this person to begin with? I had been roommates with her for a year beforehand. Okay. And it was totally No fine. problems. No problems. Was it like in a dorm versus in like an apartment? Nope. It, so we went from a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment that she and I both lived in to then a three bedroom, two bathroom apartment that she and I lived in with one other person and the other person and I shared a bathroom. So like basically nothing changed for this girl, but I think she Gosh. kind of no. just had a cracking point in her life because not only did she like scream at and threaten and call the cops on me and my roommate, huh? but in that Whoa. same month she like got fired from her lab okay. that she was working we're going in. To make, we're going to make it sounds oh. like it sounds like this particular person was having like um, a potential <laughs> mental breakdown yeah. aside from Right. Well done, Jay. Just having to and be uh, your roommate, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> the old boom and score. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. That's what you did. She's, Jordan's really hard to live with because she's so helpful. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm the just one. the worst. But yeah, it, it was just such a thing. And we didn't realize, like my, my other roommate and I didn't realize how bad it had gotten until it was so bad that like one time Ooh. she locked my cat in her room and like locked the door with a key that she had installed an extra lock on her door. What? Yeah, and like refused to come so, home to let the cat out. And she was like, well, I'm not coming home till tomorrow. Nope, nope. Mm. Well, that's weird. Yeah, just the whole the whole thing was a mess. OK, your nightmare roommate situation trumps my nightmare yeah. situation. Oh, uh, yeah. She, she actually called the cops on me. And for what? Um, That particular instance. Well, um. No, no, no. In that particular instance, <laughs> um, I yeah, I, I broke the lock. Yeah. Like after it had been a handful of hours and my cat was yowling in that room with no food or water, I'm just like, okay, it's time. I texted her. I said, hey, if you're not here by ten o'clock, I'm gonna break the lock and you'll have to deal with it later. And she came home about an hour and a half after that, and I had broken the lock and she called the cops and I was like. You said you weren't coming home until after the weekend was over, so. Right. Yeah, just the whole thing was ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous. Yeah. I'm I'm assuming that this question asker did not have this same mm. level of <laughs> It's that person. Stuff. <laughs> it's that, it's that <laughs> asker. <laughs> you know what? If it is... <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope out. that My nobody sympathies. from our, uh, our pastor is like, listening to it. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's, that's fair. I had a bad game. Also, I don't know how I got 64 points. Yeah, year. something has happened somewhere along the way. I know there was an update, but apparently, uh, apparently scores were updated somewhere in there. Interesting. Interesting. Apparently, what? The scoring, because normally it was always like in uh, by tens. Mm-hmm. So now uh, it's not. I'm curious. So, yeah. what the rest of it is. I don't know. All right. Yeah, well, then you were doing a lot because I scored a goal and you still beat me on points. So. Yeah. Well, three saves. Man. Three saves. Oh, I think I think I got the the savior token for that one yeah. as well. Nice. So. Well, well, well done, brother. Thanks, well thanks. Done. You know, I just chase those balls as much as I possibly can. Oh man. Well, <sighs> I hope you guys have enjoyed our three v four unfair watermelon sharks episode, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we will see you in the next episode. But until next time. Shut the cannon, shut the cannons, boom, 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 we are the pirates.